Hello, my pretties. It is Wednesday. <laughs> Leatherface Wednesday. Ooh. Just got home. Did start a little bit of dinner. I cut myself. Uh, <laughs> and I have a box. This box actually came yesterday, but it was my night to work, so I didn't open it until didn't get to it until now. But this is what I believe is the Boxy's Charm Premium. She's a little mangled. I don't know what happened in in the delivery vehicle. But while I find my knife, let's get into the informational portion of this video. Hello, my pretties. For anyone who is new here, hi, I'm Gladys on this channel. I mainly do unboxings like Ipsy and BoxyCharm. On Tuesdays, I do a get ready with me called a mime time where I get ready in silence. The last thing I do on this channel, which I love most of all, are mystery boxes. I love them so much. I have created my own and do mystery box giveaways monthly on this channel. Now, if you like me and my content, do all those things YouTube would like you to do. Like and subscribe, hit that notification button. Yeah, and I would appreciate that immensely. Now, if you don't like me or my content, just move on to the next. Because, uh, really, life is short and no one's got time for that shit. This month's giveaway has started. And it goes on until the end of the month. February 28th, a winner is chosen March 1st. Now, let's get back to our video. All right. Oh, before I show you the box, <clears throat> let me just say, uh, I was trying to upload my January rundown and the video was corrupted. I tried for two days thought I was doing something wrong. I tried to get my husband to do it. We won't do it. So now I have to do it again. And that'll be this weekend because I just, I have this. And then I also got to bring out everything from January. But it is January's BoxyCharm Premium. But here is it. This month's theme is Be My Glamantine. Makes sense because, you know, Valentine's Day. I hate Valentine's Day. I hate the pink. I hate like this one. That's what I hate. Uh, Baxi Charm Premium is $40. You get six items, full size items. That's just jump on it. First item we have is from Complex Culture. This is the Future So Bright eyeshadow palette. This retails for 30. I have an eyeshadow palette from them. Don't I? Got from Ipsy because this is an Ipsy brand. Here is the plastic beige packaging. Hope to God it is not beige and brown. Oh no, this is actually quite colorful. Way more colorful than what I have on my eyes. Yes, yeah, still on the neutral side, but had a bit more new color. I mean, got the shimmery pink over here. Okay. I am going to swatch it. I can only do it on this hand because this one obviously has the cut and some liquid band-aid on it because um, I can't be bleeding all over my vegetables when I'm trying to cook dinner. And let me just say, <clears throat> my husband enjoyed putting, like he was very concerned. He was like, whoa, you cut yourself. But you didn't tell me you really gouged yourself. I'm like, no, it's just a little cut. It just bleeds a lot right there. Hello, a lot of capillaries, you know? Your hands are always moving, it bleeds a lot. He's like, no, that's gorgeous. Let me, with pleasure, get the liquid band-aid. Ooh, that burned. <laughs> that 
burned and he enjoyed it. Not the best. Swatches are very glittery. But here are the first three. This is the top row. You have Reflect. Yes, yes it is. Manifest and Awaken. Oh, my tea is ready. Someone got it. Someone will put it in the cup. Here are the next three. Can I? <sighs> the alien is being subsided. Okay. I like the pink. I know. What's happening to me? But you have evoke, which you can, can't even see on my hand. Kismet is really pretty. And arrive. It's like pink with some gold. Here are the last three. You have spark, which is kind of like a rusty cranberry with some pink in there. Again, with the pink. You have vision. And then Horizon. Horizon's beautiful. Um, I'm going to just say the four mats that are in here don't swatch the best. But I am more than happy to play with this. And I like the plastic packaging. Next item is from Bike beauty this is the makeup melt mist this retails for $24 why is there glitter all over I see why okay nothing like exploded the packaging on something else is got glitter I go down like this and my husband gonna be like, are you becoming a stripper? What was going on? No, sorry, honey, I don't have moves like that. But this is, this is kind of like the one size spray. Well, that's an aerosol. This is just, you know, a pump, just like this. Um. I did not receive the one size. It looks kind of disgusting, but interesting. Yeah, curiosity. Um, so this is making me curious too. I am currently using a a uh, thing, that one, a makeup remover balm from Juno & Co. That one's amazing. Oh, it smells so wonderfully bright and sunny. And I can't say it, it removes all of my makeup and is lightening up some of my acne scars, which is great. So quite nothing really compares to that one, but I will give this one a try eventually. Next item is from Pretty Vulgar. We know that brand. We have the Lovebirds Lip Duo. It has an ultra pigmented matte liquid lipstick and a high shine clear lip gloss. This retails for $30. Okay. Mm, calling my name. All right, here is the clear gloss. Is this? Okay. One is love me and the other one is love me not. I don't know which one it is because I can't read that. But I'm holding on to this because I want to try it. I have received a, I have gotten a mystery box from Pretty Vulgar in the past, but it didn't have any lip products in it. So I'm really curious as to how this is gonna be. 
sorry, I was watching with my non-dominant hand. It's just for <laughs> making me slow. But it, here it is. The gloss is here. And here is the lipstick. Yes, ma'am, I will be trying that as well. I have to get out another wipey because I'll, I've got glitter everywhere. My next item is from Moonlight Makeup. This is the Primed for Night. For the Night Eyeshadow Primer. This retails for $18. They say this is a new launch. I've never heard of Moonlight Makeup before. Cute little packaging. I feel like there's like, why is the thing so big? It's just an eyeshadow primer. But I'm actually not gonna open it because I have my eyeshadow primer. I use it every day. I've used it every day for over a year. It's still got plenty in it. And then I have two backups of another brand. So I don't need this. So this is going to go into a future giveaway. Next item is from Dime Beauty. This is the Eyelash Boost Serum. This retails for $44. This was my choice item. Um, just because of the options I had that were given to me. Well, I don't want this the best option out of all of it to be honest so this is going to go into a future giveaway as well because um, yeah, I don't believe in these eyelash boost serums they don't work for me so I'm not even gonna bother trying all right now my last item is the one covered in glitter. Let me gingerly pick it up. But it is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm All Over Diamond Veil. This retails for $39. This is in the shade How Many Carrots? Mmm. Stunning. Stunning. Oh! <laughs> now this isn't all over so I can put it as a highlight maybe I can put it on my collar wheel my legs my arms my everything no I'm not my everything I'm good don't want glitter there oh okay as I rub it in my finger in there's like this coating of just like straight up glitter and as you go you know get past that overspray it's kind of oily like imagine those shimmery bottle body oils but in a solid there it is mmm I feel like I will, like, I feel like this is going to just move and shift and I will have glitter everywhere, even there, if I, if I use this, oh my god, it's beautiful, I just, it's very sparkly glittery. And that's all my items. Um, again, I like just having one skincare item. The rest was all makeup. That is what I want. I don't know why I have to pay an extra $5 to get that. But thank you. But not thank you. I am happy with the actual makeup products I received. I get to try a little new 
But I still do believe that this box is too effing big. But that is everything. I think that tomorrow's look will be, will be out there. It will be fun and colorful and maybe out of my comfort level. <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. I'm here to be the curious one, the adventurous one. With that, uh, I'm gonna go finish up dinner, try to not cut myself again, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>
mattes. They're all very workable, blendable, smooth. Um, I use this one and this one for my shimmers today. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. What was wrong with me? It turned out to be so pretty. This, um, I see it. I just hope it doesn't move throughout the day and just look like I've got glitter everywhere. It is pretty. And then this, oh, oh, I haven't gotten a red in so long in my boxes. It's always been, you know, the mauve shade or nude. But this I put a little bit of the gloss. Um, the gloss is sticky. It's sticky. I don't like that. You know, I want a gloss that just glides on. It doesn't get gross on you. But this is sticky. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. That I don't like. But what do you think? Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. And um, I will see you in the next one.